so we're officially 15 days sugar free yay like i'm so excited like i've actually made it through half the month and um we haven't like consumed 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 oh my god <laughs> i was meant to say consumed <laughs> hello munchkins welcome back to my channel with me shina so for the year 2020 i decided to embark on healthier habits like to implement them so if you've been following me on instagram then you know that for the month of january i decided to embark on a sugar-free challenge and i was sharing like some of the recipes that i had there so one of the reasons that i decided to embark on this is that you can't be on the internet or youtube and not see like all these sugar documentaries saying how sugar is so bad for you and so forth or like ted talks talking about sugar and then also one of my favorites like if you watch youtubers like for me matt diavela and um who is your waiter i feel like you can't watch like a matt diavela video without feeling like inspired to better yourself so i figured i would be like okay why not like i'll test this out for myself also for me i felt like being healthcare is not just about um the number on the scale so i felt like um it has a lot to do with like your mood how you feel your general all well-being and i wanted to really test that out um so i'll be sharing like my experience also from a food perspective because i also did do it to like uh see what kind of creative recipes i can come up with and maybe try out like different ingredients and foods that maybe i just haven't eaten in a long time or maybe that i've just actually never eaten in general some of the other reasons that i wanted to try out this challenge for myself was i wanted to be like my own guinea pig and actually see how my body would respond to me quitting sugar for 30 days and then i also wanted to see like whether i had like other sugar cravings that i didn't know about and also um i felt like my discipline has been like lacking here and there so i felt like having small wins by doing the sugar free challenge would help me like pursue other goals in life that maybe i've been like neglecting so for the 30 day sugar challenge what was mainly cutting out was um added sugars in different foods but i also did decide to cut out like some natural sugars like honey here and there so in the list what i decided to cut out was um added sugars in anything and substitutes for sugar as well as other sweeteners so i.e honey and uh, stevia and then i also decided to cut out um soft drinks obviously <laughs> and fruit juices like for fruit juices i mainly meant like the ones that are like packaged uh, that sort of thing and for the fruit juices i didn't even make any healthy fruit juices like at home with like actual real fruits i opted not to do that because i didn't want to like um strip the fiber out of the fruits themselves so i only had like fruits so fruits were the only natural sugars that i was retaining and then i also decided to cut out uh dried fruits now usually dried fruits are not bad for you because you have like dates and raisins and the likes but for me personally i decided to cut them out because sometimes like when you're snacking on something like dates or like raisins you might end up just eating like a lot more sugar content in them so i prefer to just keep it simple and just stick to mainly fresh fruits oh i almost forgot to mention for the challenges also avoiding uh, alcohol that wasn't going to be a big deal for me because i'm not much of a drinker anyway now going into this challenge i'll be honest i knew it wasn't going to be like very difficult for me personally because i'm not like a sweet tooth person like i wasn't a sweet tooth person to begin with i am more of a savory person but however i was actually shocked by some of the ingredients that i found out had sugar in them so like soy sauce i found out had sugar in it i don't know why it did occur to me before that soy sauce had sugar in it like i knew things like teriyaki sauce definitely would have sugar in them but for soy sauce itself i didn't think it had and then mustard also had sugar in it like the type of mustard they had had added sugar in it as well as um cubes like if you have like chicken cubes beef cubes stock cubes those kind of cubes like they have sugar in them it's written as caramel so caramel basically means sugar because to get the caramel you basically heat up white sugar until like um the color turns to this like golden brownish color and you get like your caramel so basically different stock cubes have added sugar in them and then also so uh vinegars of course vinegar and you like something like balsamic vinegar would de definitely have sugar in it uh, but also because i was staying away from fruit juices you'll find that um some of the vinegars that i mainly use example like apple cider vinegar the concentrate in it is apple juice concentrate so obviously i had to eliminate like using different types of vinegars so i just kept it simple and decided to just use lemons and limes so what did they eat so to be honest there's like a whole bunch of stuff you can eat um on a sugar-free challenge so i'll make like a designated video recipe for that uh, because on instagram like when i shared the few recipes that i would make like on my insta stories a few people were really interested in them and they kept asking whether i was going to make like a long form video so i figured i'll make like a video or two on those recipes so anyway i thought i'll share like maybe just some of the highlights um in this video of some of the meals that i ate so obviously there was fruits and vegetables and um of course like chicken 
sweet potatoes i felt like sweet potatoes was like a new favorite of mine and uh for breakfast i mostly had um oats i hadn't had oats like in a long time like i have oats but not as often so i felt like on this challenge like i had oats like almost every other two days like i'll have oats like it became my go-to breakfast item oats and eggs i had eggs also like a lot something else i also noticed um in the challenge is that i ate more fruits than i usually did before like prior to this what i'll do is that i'll buy fruits this is like such a terrible habit so i tend to buy fruits like apples and orange oranges because like they won't get spoiled and bananas so most times i'll have finished the bananas but then the apples and oranges i'll put them in the fridge and then i'll kind of just forget that they're there. <laughs> Like I'll go to the extent of opening the fridge and seeing the oranges and the apple But then I'll be like, oh no, I think I'll just make a whole complete meal So for this challenge, it actually made me eat the oranges and apples and different types of fruits that we had in season Like plums, in Kenya we had lots of plums in season Also another thing I felt I did by default other than just other than eating a uh, lot on fruits and veggies um all the time was actually um drinking water so i felt like i drank water like all the time i think that's just because like your drinks options are kind of limited so to start off with like coffee i was having it black so prior to me doing the sugar free challenge i was already having like my coffee without sugar whether it was at home or whether it was like at a cafe um the same thing goes for black tea i was already used to having it like without sugar and also to make my teas interesting i also did like mint tea like mint and ginger tea mint and like um like the orange zest as well as like black tea with mint so let's say i use like mint a lot in like different drinks and i think that's one of the things i felt like some things that maybe were bitter before kind of tasted a bit sweet like the same goes for lemons like my lemons and limes were not so bitter after all like they kind of tasted sweet i know it's weird but they kind of tasted like a bit sweet so for the first 15 days i honestly didn't feel like i felt too much of a big um, mood change but i did make a video with my past self so we can check in with past Sheena to see what she thought about the challenge during that time so we're officially 15 days sugar free yay like i'm so excited like i've actually made it through half the month and um we haven't like consumed 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 oh my god <laughs> i was meant to say consumed <laughs> and we haven't like consumed um any sugar for like the past 15 days that is um so that was like artificial sugars and the likes so basically i feel like for the first first five days or so like it was relatively easy like day one to four was really easy i didn't feel like i had like any cravings of any sort like it was just it was okay and also i think because i wasn't like a very sweet tooth person to begin with i found the challenge like quite easy to ease into but then around day five i felt like i had a bit of like a craving for something sweet but it wasn't like off the charts so i just ended up having like popcorn i know popcorn is not exactly sweet but yeah i felt like having like some sort of snack and not like a proper meal so i ended up just making some popcorn um like around day five and then around day eight is when i would say like i had like a major craving because this was like a dinner time and i wanted to have something sweet and what i ended up having was like um oats porridge with like a bit of cinnamon in it and then i also had like a watermelon i know and then i had like tea black tea with like mint leaves in it that was like what i could find that was like sweet <laughs> so that was like the whole combination of like using a bit of cinnamon and the watermelon and like the tea yeah and then at the end of the evening i felt okay i felt like that that covered my sweet tooth for that evening and then so far since then to like now day 15 it's been like really relatively easy i haven't felt like have any other like um cravings and also i'd like to mention that i didn't actually feel the urge to put away my sugars but i feel like for someone who maybe is a sweet tooth they maybe you want to put your sugars like away where you can't reach them because most likely you'll just gravitate towards them but if you have self-control which i did <laughs> then you'll not gravitate towards your sugars and you'll just leave them to be there in your pantry just waiting for the month to be over also the major challenge i'll say i have found with um cooking so far has to do with like the ingredients basically like uh sauces and things like that sauces and condiments that sort of thing because i love like spicing up my food with different like um condiments and sauces like mustard but i realized like a lot of the sauces like you have to be really vigilant in like looking through the sauces to find out what has sugar and what doesn't so that has been like quite challenging to figure out what has and what doesn't have 
and for the ladies out there i'm also going to mention um about periods so during my periods personally i felt like very tired like i had like brain fog i felt dizzy like i just felt so drained so i found out that um when i ate like fruits so i felt like i had to have fruits with me i always felt better every time like i had fruits and then also like whenever i took a shower like i felt great generally and then something else I noticed that lifted up my moods was that most times I was on the computer or just looking at my phone screen like my brain would be like quite foggy and I'll just feel like quite drained like I've mentioned but then once I got off the phone and um, took like a small walk or just like refreshed my mind away from like the electronics like I felt so much better so I feel like that's just something to note now let's talk about the benefits so one of the benefits um, I found of being on the sugar free challenge was that my skin felt smoother now unfortunately I did not um, film this like on the 1st of January because I forgot but I just felt like generally my skin just just felt like a lot smoother like and also like when you wash your face like you know when it just feels like oh it just feels so nice and clear it it felt that way and also guys for my skin maybe it doesn't like um, maybe it might not like show outwards I don't know but I just I felt it you know like the feeling like it's a feeling <laughs> So I felt like that's what counts more because like I've said it just felt like it felt it just felt so amazing <laughs> Also, for me personally, my weight remained constant. So I weighed between 99 and 100 kgs at the beginning of the month. And at the end of the month, I still weighed about the same 99 and 100 kgs. So I noticed like it didn't fluctuate or add. It was just the same. But I know for some people, they do tend to lose weight during the sugar-free challenge. Um, also, I'd like to mention that I did not add any extra um, exercise uh, during this challenge. So basically, I didn't go like for extra work or anything. I just kept like whatever I was doing like on an everyday basis. So there was no extra uh, exercise that I I added and my steps a day are usually like about 2000 to like 4000 mats i know that's terrible but anyway i'm just being honest with you guys so yes yeah, so i didn't do any other form of exercise during the challenge so another plus of being on the sugar free challenge is that you definitely save on money because for like the whole month i honestly barely ate out i think i only ate out like about three times once was like i just went and got a coffee and it was just for me to see what i'll order out and honestly like it was so hard looking at the menu because i had to look at most of the breakfast options which most times tend to be sweet so mostly i ended up just having eggs and a salad yeah i you know i had a lot of eggs during this challenge otherwise like for the whole month i really just ate at home and then the biggest benefits of all for anyone who has like um inflammation of their joints like for me it's only like my knees like i just felt like the biggest lifts like they just felt less inflamed they felt amazing i don't know how else to explain it like they felt lighter um i don't know like this sounds very woo woo or whatever it might sound but they honestly did like they just felt like lighter and i was like oh my god <laughs> so i feel like that's one of the biggest improvements i noticed on my joints as well as um the other thing i felt was that i felt after like the 15 days mark sort of thing i felt like i just wanted to be more active like i felt like i just wanted to go out on a walk like it, it was just like something that i wanted to do and no one like had forced me to do it i i really felt like i just wanted to be more active and to do a lot more also something else that i noticed is that um around after the 15 days mark i just felt um i didn't really like have cravings so like i'll find myself just wanting to cook at home and um to just cook healthier meals in general i'll crave like to have like a salad like for breakfast i made that with like um a few of like my egg dishes or you'll just want to have like a fruit so i just felt like i just wanted to eat healthier meals and i wasn't craving anything to do with fast food in fact like for the whole month of january like i did not crave fast food other than the very beginning of course like i didn't crave fast food i didn't have like this urge to want to go out and get like um deep fried deep fried chicken and chips or anything like that or pizza so i felt like yeah the challenge was really amazing because it really made me want to just cook healthier and to cook at home and enjoy my meals another thing i noticed is that my own personal friends um felt inspired to actually want to try the challenge like i had a friend who decided to try the challenge for herself for like about five days because she's like a really sweet tooth and then um for another friend like i went uh for dinner to their house and i remember because i made like this sweet potato salad on my instagram stories and uh she mentioned it so i was like oh yeah i'll bring like the sweet potato salad which was amazing so i felt like i was actually inspiring like my own friends like want to try the challenge and like to just improve on their eating habits as well 
and then finally my instagram community you guys are really like amazing because you'll dm me anytime like i shared something i shared a recipe and most times like when i wasn't going to share the recipe like or highlight it uh, you guys would still dm me and ask me shina i saw this recipe for this and this like where is it? I've searched everywhere and I can't find it. It's not on your highlights. I'm like, okay, yes, we're going to highlight it. So that was really encouraging because it um, showed me that you guys were really interested in um, the recipes that I was sharing with you guys. And because of that, I let you guys like vote for the challenge that I'm actually doing right now, which is the gluten free challenge. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should because the community there is just very loving. They're just wonderful munchkins. <laughs> That's what I call my audience. So anyway, yes, thank you so much let's talk about the cons for the cons i don't know i didn't feel like there were too many so it mostly had to do with like eating out because like it was quite inconvenient to eat out like there's a time like i've said like if you wanted to have something um with your coffee you'd have to look through like the menu and most options were like sweet options so it was hard to really get like a grab and go kind of meal and then the other thing was that if you are sitting down to have um, a meal like in a restaurant again you had to really read through the ingredients and i felt like um you had to be like really particular on reading the menu and like really explaining to the waiter or waitress like what you wanted also this might be a con for someone who doesn't like to cook because um you might have to plan your meals um in advance personally i'm a chef so i love cooking and i cook all the time and i also prefer having like different meals like each and every other day so i don't mind cooking on a daily basis but for someone who doesn't like to do that then they might want to think ahead and maybe pre-plan their meals so they have something when they come home otherwise if you don't have something at home then you're most likely going to be tempted to want to eat out and like i've said eating out the options were like really hard for you to like go through like there's a bit of an inconvenience when you think about it and finally maybe for the big question do i plan to continue being sugar free uh the answer is for the most part <laughs> i feel like um i definitely learned a lot and i definitely learned a lot and i'm like really grateful for some of the changes that i saw and felt in me uh, but for the most part like some of the sugars that i had cut out example like let's say raisins or dates or dried mangoes oh my god i love dried mangoes like for some of those i'm going to obviously be incorporating them because i like having them like with my foods and they play a big part like in my recipes so i'll definitely like be adding those back but for the most part i feel like i'm going to just be more conscious of the sugars that i'm eating and like definitely limit the intake i take of added sugar so i don't plan to have like added sugars like on a day-to-day -day basis unless like i'm doing like a certain recipe that like calls for it so be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i'll really appreciate that plus you'll be helping someone else who's out there maybe on the fence of going sugar free or deciding and this video might be just what they needed to get more information and also like i mentioned for the sugar free recipes um the link will be down below once the videos are up so be sure to check them out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye